Yo, it's your boy Black Cobra, and today I'm going to teach you guys just how you can utilize the footwork mechanics in 2K to get you a bucket. Now to demonstrate this to you, I'm going to be showing you in one of the best environments to do it, and that's 5v5 gameplay. So I'm going to run these clips, and afterwards I'll come back and break it down. Now, I know what you're thinking, and you're absolutely right. But disclaimer, there will be no passing featured in this video. That's not what you're here for. So I start off my shimmy animation, and I get my defender to jump. Now, had I actually shot the fade, that would have been a really good contest. But part of getting a bucket out of this situation is reading the defense. My defender was retreating in the middle of my fade animation. So I know that he had no other choice but to jump. And because I read the situation correctly, this is either gonna be an open step through shot or a shooting foul. Now, as you can see, his teammate also came over to help him out. Now it's still four and five and I got three options. I got two on the wing and I got one cut to the basket. But you already know what type of time I'm on. I'm gonna take advantage of that and step through for a bucket. All right, now this is where the mechanics of the game start to get interesting. Now I have a live dribble, but I opt to shimmy fade out of that live dribble. And if you notice, the animation of that fade actually has a dribble in it. But because I didn't move, the game doesn't register it as an actual dribble. Now, I didn't anticipate my defender trying to play the passing lane in this situation, so I really could have just finished that shot. And because he played the passing lane, I'm expecting him now to close out hard. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take advantage of that dribble that I have and create even more space with a hop jumper out of the pivot. All right. There ain't a whole lot to dissect about this one. All right, I'm gonna keep it a stack with you. This one right here is just disrespectful. This one right here is just a product of I work on those, all right? This one right here is a product of practice, a product of attributes, a product of badges, because you cannot ask for better defense than that. Okay, a little bit of context. So throughout the course of this game, I was jabbing and spinning towards the direction that I jabbed. So if I were to do it again, I would jab with my right foot and then spin towards the middle of the paint towards the free throw line. And like I said, I did this quite a number of times in this game. So I'm pretty sure he was scouting that. But basketball is like chess, man. It's like, like playing mind games. You, you show them something a couple of times and when they're least expecting it, give them something different. So I'm gonna show him what I've been showing him with that step over jab, but I'm not gonna spin to that side. I'm gonna hit him with a spin shot. And because he was anticipating a spin towards the paint, his momentum is carrying him that way and he's not able to recover and get a good enough contest on that shot. All right, now we starting to get a little freaky. We starting to get a little freaky. So I catch the ball out of the corner, I go for a pump fake. I go for a spin out of that into the Devin Booker uh, step back jumper, but he doesn't bite on it. He stays disciplined. He doesn't jump, he doesn't bite on it, but my boy, that mid range pocket shot, wide open. All right, now here's the part of the video where I'm gonna explain to you guys just how to split defense, whether it's uh, double teams or triple teams. There's ways that you can split the defense using the footwork mechanics in 2K. So as you can see, they've got me trapped into a double team. It's not a, a double team animation, but they're trying to trap me. But what they don't realize is this area right here is wide the hell open. So I'm gonna take advantage of that. I'm gonna take advantage of that and I'm gonna shoot right in between them, right on that lower left elbow. All right, all right, listen, listen. I'm, I know this looks crazy. I know this looks 
crazy. But that's, this is not what we here for. We are not here for the passive. We are here for the buckets. That's all we're here for. You don't have to worry about nothing else right now. So I'm switching my position in the post looking for an opening and there it is right there. Hop step in between the defense. One was caught reaching as you can see and the other one is just oblivious. Just because they send help, just because they W, doesn't mean you can't get a bucket. Tell them to send another one. All right, now I'm not a dribble head, but I can use a little size up to my advantage. But my goal here is to get to where I want while also avoiding as much of that double team as possible. Now, his help defense really helped. His help defender really looked out for him on that one. That's great defense, but better offense. Okay, so this is important. I believe that this is the first or oh, our first offense's possession. And the reason why this is important is because I wanna make it a point to set the tone. I wanna make it a point to let my defender know that I'm gonna shoot this shot all night. And if he doesn't respect it, he's gonna be in trouble. So whether I make it or whether I miss it, I wanna come out and be aggressive and let him know that I'm gonna take this shot. All right, same situation later in the game. As you can see, I got my man sealed and my point guard hits me. But watch what happens. He notices that he's playing too far off and he closes as a gap because he, he didn't want what happened last time to happen again. But when he closes as the gap, I use that against him, create that contact, power back down, switch positions, hit him with the shoulder fake up and under bucket. All right, so final example of splitting a double team. So I'm gonna get the ball on the wing and as soon as I get it, they're gonna swarm me. I split the double team with a spin, but then I run into another help defense situation, hit him with a, a hop fake up and under bucket. There's multiple different ways that you can score out of a double team, out of a triple team. I don't advise trying to do it consistently, but if you ever find yourself in a situation to where you need a bucket, and there's help defense coming, and there's a triple team coming. Hopefully this video showed you that if you understand the mechanics of the game and use it to your advantage, there ain't no bucket you can't get.